The dodo is an extinct flightless bird that was found only on the island of Mauritius, east of Madagascar, in the Indian Ocean. Genetic evidence shows that the dodo's closest living relative is the Southeast Asian Nicobar, followed by the crowned pigeons of New Guinea and the tooth-billed pigeon from Samoa. Dodos diverged from their ancestors around 23 million years ago. It is thought that their ancestors remained capable of flight for a considerable time after the separation of their lineage, and that they reached the Mascarene Islands by island hopping from South Asia. The lack of mammalian herbivores competing for resources, and absence of predators on the island, allowed the dodo to attain their very large size and flightlessness. The etymology of the word dodo is unclear. It has been suggested that dodo was an onomatopoeic approximation of the bird's call, a two-note pigeon-like sound resembling dodo. Some liken it to the Dutch word dodor, meaning sluggard, but it is more probably related to dodars, which means fat ass. The word dodo was first printed in a 1634 travelogue, which credited the Portuguese for the name. They called it dodo, or nowadays doido, meaning fool or crazy. As no complete dodo specimens exist, its external appearance, such as plumage and coloration, is hard to determine. 17th century illustrations and written accounts are the primary evidence for its external appearance. According to most, the dodo had greyish or brownish plumage, with lighter primary feathers and a tuft of curly light feathers high on its rear end. The head was grey and naked, the beak green, black and yellow, and the legs were stout and yellowish with black claws. Subfossil remains show that dodos were very large birds, with males growing up to 1 metre tall and up to 21 kilograms. The traditional image of a dodo is of a fat and clumsy bird, but this view may have been exaggerated. The general opinion of scientists today is that many old European depictions were based on overfed captive birds, or crudely stuffed specimens. A famous painting from 1626 has since become the standard image of a dodo. It is housed in the Natural History Museum of London. Little is known of the behaviour of the dodo, as most contemporary descriptions are very brief. Based on weight estimates, it has been suggested that the male could reach the age of 21, and the female 17. Studies of the leg bones indicate that it could run quite fast, and though the wings were small, well-developed muscle scars on the bones show that they were not completely vestigial, and may have been used for display behaviour and balance. The dodo may have used its large, hooked beak in territorial disputes, though the availability of resources on the island means that there would have been little reason to evolve aggressive territorial behaviour. The brain-to-body size ratio was similar to that of modern pigeons, indicating that dodos were probably of equal intelligence. The preferred habitat of the dodo is unknown, but old descriptions suggest that it inhabited the woods on the drier coastal areas of South and West Mauritius. Such a limited distribution across the island could well have contributed to its extinction. In addition to fallen fruits, the dodo probably subsisted on nuts, seeds, bulbs and roots. It has also been suggested that the dodo may have eaten crabs and shellfish, like their relatives, the crowned pigeons. The dodo had a good sense of smell, which may have aided in locating fruit and small prey. As it was flightless and terrestrial, and there were no mammalian predators or other kinds of natural enemy on Mauritius, the dodo probably nested on the ground. Because of the possible single-egg clutch, and the bird's large size, it has been proposed that the dodo produced few offspring, which required parental care until they matured. The fact that no juvenile dodos have been found may indicate that they matured rapidly. The earliest known accounts of the dodo were provided by Dutch travellers during 1598. They appeared in reports published in 1601, which also contained the first published illustration of the bird. Since the first sailors to visit Mauritius had been at sea for a long time, their interest in these large birds was mainly as a source of food. One journal mentions that 25 dodos were hunted for food, which was so large that two could scarcely be consumed at mealtime. Some early travellers found dodo meat unsavoury, and preferred to eat parrots and pigeons. Others described it as tough but good. 
Dodos were easy to catch, but hunters had to be careful not to be bitten by their powerful beaks. Like many animals that evolved in isolation from significant predators, the dodo was entirely fearless of humans. This fearlessness, and its inability to fly, made the dodo easy prey for sailors. Although some scattered reports describe mass killings of dodos for ships' provisions, archaeological investigations have found scant evidence of human predation. The human population on Mauritius never exceeded 50 people in the 17th century, but they introduced other animals, including dogs, pigs, cats, rats, and crab-eating macaques, which plundered dodo nests and competed for the limited food resources. At the same time, humans destroyed the forest habitat of the dodos. The impact of the introduced animals on the dodo population is today considered more severe than that of hunting. The last widely accepted record of a dodo sighting was the 1662 report of a Dutch shipwrecked mariner. The Dutch left Mauritius in 1710, but by then the dodo and most of the large terrestrial vertebrates there had become extinct. The only remains of dodos taken to Europe in the 17th century are a dried head and foot in the Oxford University Museum of Natural History, a foot once housed in the British Museum but now lost, a skull in the University of Copenhagen Zoological Museum, and an upper jaw in the National Museum of Prague. Several stuffed dodos were also mentioned in old museum inventories, but none are known to have survived. The only known soft tissue remains, the head and foot, belonged to the last known stuffed dodo. Only two complete skeletons have been found, however composite recreations, assembled from the remains of several individuals, do exist. The dodo's significance as one of the best known extinct animals, and its singular appearance, led to its use in literature and popular culture as a symbol of an outdated concept or object, as in the expression, dead as a dodo, which has come to mean unquestionably dead or obsolete. Similarly, the phrase, to go the way of the dodo, means to become extinct or obsolete, to fall out of common usage or practice, or to become a thing of the past. Dodo is also a slang term for a stupid, dull-witted person, as it was said to be stupid and easily caught. <laughs>